Hi guys, it's Wild Liz appeared. We're finally back for more of the Dragon's Prophet tutorial. Um, you may notice a couple changes, uh, mostly the lighting. My glasses are super reflective, so if the lighting is like annoying and you notice it a whole lot, let me know down in the comments. Um, we're back for more Dragon's Prophet. Just so you guys know, I'm not doing a full walkthrough of Dragon's Prophet. I'm just doing little tutorials. For these first couple of tutorials, they're going to be covering the very, very basics, assuming that you as the audience don't know anything about gaming, and if you do, then go ahead and skip the next couple episodes to where you need to be. And with that, we'll just jump right in. Okay guys, here we are back in the game. Um, just so you guys know, there is a beginning cutscene that I skipped over. Um, we are in the starting town. Here's our character. I haven't done anything with him yet besides finish the tutorial and got him up to level 5 as you can see in the upper left hand corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the controls that are preset that you may want to use. So first of all to bring up this menu you can push a variety of buttons. I pushed B, um, also opens my backpack. Another way to open up the menu is to push escape and you can also push escape again to exit out of that. Um, when you're in the menu, your mouse will show up, um, and you can uh, click on any of these categories up here. We're going to cover these a little bit later, one by one. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go in System. We're going to go to System Settings. Okay, the first thing we're going to do in System Settings is change the quality of our game. Uh, depending on your computer, we you want different settings. Um, I have mine from medium to low just because my computer isn't <laughs> that great. Um, I'm just on a laptop. So I have my texture quality pretty low. Uh, visual quality is about the default of what the game sets it. Um, as you scroll down there's just like different fine tuning that you can change things to. Plant density, vegetation distance, that's how far you can see vegetation like trees and bushes and stuff. Um, shading, lighting, uh, shadows, um, and then obviously your visibility factor, which is how far you can see, um, and how dense objects are. Um, there's your frame rate, there's an underwater effect, and basically you'll have to experiment around with these different uh, levels of quality and see which one works best for your computer. Obviously the lower quality that you have, the less visually appealing the game is going to look. It still looks pretty great, but if the quality is something you really feel is important, then it may sacrifice a little bit of the speed at which the game runs, so you may experience a little bit more lag. For all of you new to gaming, um, lag is a thing you will experience at times <laughs> during um, online games and multiplayer games. Uh, your computer very simply tries to connect with other people who are also playing the same game. And sometimes those connections kind of fall behind, and so everything starts to go slow. You may be rubber band back, um, and it's pretty annoying. Um, the lower your quality settings are, the less frequently this will happen, but it still is likely to happen, especially if there's a lot of other players around, and also if there are battles and scenes which have a lot of um, NPCs, non-playable characters, enemies, stuff like that taking up that energy from your game. Um, hope that made sense. <laughs> okay, so these were our visual options. Um, hopefully I covered those well enough for you. We're going to go over here to the left hand side and click on audio options. It'll change the volume of different aspects of your game. This is the total volume, just the master volume of all the sounds. Um, and within those, these are all relative. Um, music, just obviously you can hear the music right now and you can decide how loud you want it. It won't change until you push apply, which is kind of annoying. Um, sound effects like running and fighting and stuff like that. Environment, um, just different environmental sounds. Interface, clicking and different noises, different buttons make and stuff. Uh, voice volume, some of the characters talk in the game, and this just controls how loud they are. Uh, music loop frequency, uh, they have some really nice music in Dragon's Prophet, um, and this just determines 
how often different songs are played. The higher this is, the less time you'll have to wait before hearing the next song. After our audio options, we're going to go down to mouse options. That's the third one on the left. Um, yes, confirm. Sorry, I pushed a thing. Okay, so in mouse options, um, it's the camera sensor's sensitivity. Try saying that five times fast. It's a lot of S's. Um, you can invert the Y axis, which is up and down, and the X axis, which is horizontal. Which means that if you are, like, for instance, pushing the right arrow key, then you're gonna go left. Uh, after that, we're gonna go down to memory settings. Um, I actually don't have a lot of experience with this one. It's just, I just have it on default with none of the boxes checked, but you're welcome to kind of experiment around and see what they do. Streaming settings, if you want to put your videos up on, um, like, Twitch or anything, then you can choose where you want to connect to the server, the audio quality, and then adjusting to the KBPS. So, that is all under system settings. Uh, feel free to experiment. I'm going to push confirm and just exit out of that one. Next, we're going to go down to interface settings in our... Um, system menu. Uh, the first one is your named plate settings. Um, as you can tell, here I'll exit out of that for a second. I have my name. There we go. Sorry, forgot my controls for a minute. As you can see, I have my name floating above my head. Um, so back in interface settings, we can choose what exactly we're going to display on our nameplate. Right now we just have our character's name. Later on we can get titles, um, we can join guilds and display what guild we're in, as well as alliances. After we've chosen what we want to display on our nameplate, we can choose who we want those nameplates to appear on. So Dragon's Prophet is an MMO, um, so that means lots of other people are connecting through the internet, playing the same game. Um, down here we can choose if we want to be able to see their uh, different nameplates. You can toggle all of these. Um, so you, neutral players, so players you don't have anything to do with. Uh, friendly players, like players who have joined your party, and hostile players if you're doing um, PvP, player versus player. Um, for characters who aren't controlled by actual people, NPCs, non-playable characters, um, I've chosen to allow only friendly NPCs to display their nameplate. It's just a matter of preference. You can have all of your the NPCs in the game have nameplates, but I just find it most beneficial if only the friendly NPCs have the nameplates just to make things easier if I'm looking for them for like a quest. You can display dragon nameplates, uh, friendly, hostile, and neutral. Right now I don't have any of these clicked. You are perfectly welcome to. I just find that too many nameplates causes clutter so I try to keep it to a minimum. Um, so that's the nameplate settings. Uh, now we're in the second category, health bar settings. Uh, besides the nameplate, you can choose to have a health bar that hovers above people's heads. I'm going to go ahead and enable it. I'm going to choose players and myself so it will just appear on me. Um, whenever you're changing things, always remember to push apply and then confirm or else it won't save it. So I'm going to exit out. And now you can see my health bar. Um, if I get into a battle with an NPC or another player, I'll be able to see this decrease as my health uh, decreases. So it's pretty useful in some circumstances. I prefer personally to keep it off just because I find this health bar up here in the upper left hand corner perfectly fine for my needs. Um, enemies will have their health bar right behind where my face is in this upper right hand corner. So I'm going to toggle all of these off just because it keeps my screen a little bit clearer. And uh, whenever you do anything, remember to push apply just so it saves your changes, whether you're switching tabs or exiting out of this window. Um, next is combat settings. I'm going to leave this episode here though um, and leave the rest for another time. There's still a lot more settings and uh, information to go through and I will cover those in a later episode. So I was just covering some of the basic settings that you're going to need to know as you start the game so you can get it all set up 
and running as smoothly as possible. A lot of it just depends on personal preference as well as computer capabilities. The better computer you have, the higher you're going to be able to have the settings without experiencing too much lag, which is the main concern. Um, it's either lag or quality. You can sometimes only choose one, and for me, I prefer to have my game running smoothly and sacrifice the graphics. Um, you're welcome to do whatever you want with that. So at the beginning, as you can see, we're going to be going kind of slow, taking things one step at a time, covering a couple different topics every time, just so you guys don't get overwhelmed. A lot of people start playing Dragon's Prophet and then quit after the very first day because the learning curve is so high and there's so much information to take in. And I want to do my best to prevent this from happening, which is why I'm creating these videos. I hope some of you out there find it helpful, and I hope that you maintain the patience needed to be able to get into this game and to learn all you need to know because once you do know the basics, the game goes so much smoother and it is so much fun. So I'm going to leave this here though. Um, we're going to cover more next time. And I will see all you guys later. <laughs> Bye.